Hey everybody, welcome back into the studio. Today I want to talk about um, Riverside Rendezvous, which will be inspiration number four. This one, uh, to start with, every year I go out to the Edmonton area, the Saint, uh, to St. Albert, to be specific, to uh, do the workshop. Hey everybody out there. Anyways, uh, either a week before or a week after, because of its such close location to Banff and Jasper National Parks, I go out to the parks and do a little bit of backpacking, hiking, all, all the normal stuff, and try to get some great new inspirations and uh, reference shots for some new paintings. Uh, one of my favorite spots in the park is uh, uh, along the Maline River. Uh, you see a lot of wildlife, everything from elks to black bears to fox to you name it. I've seen it down along the uh, uh, Maline River. And this particular painting came from one day. Uh, I was doing a small sketch. Now, out in the bush, I'm not a big painter. I don't like plein air painting. I'm a acrylics so like they tend to dry fast they find them to be real pain in the butt but what I do do a lot of is uh, sketching and then a little watercolor over top of the sketch while I'm out in the field and this particular day I was sitting down on this little brook it wasn't this area but it was within about half a kilometer of this area and I was uh, doing a little sketch of a little pebbly uh, shallows and I heard the movement through the brush and sure enough on the other side of the river was a black bear and he was just following the uh, embankment of the river grazing on the uh, the grasses and that they love the uh, the dandelion the weed the uh, he so he was grazing along and he, I'm I'm sure he was well aware of me but he would have not given a single indication that he even cared that I was there he didn't acknowledge my my presence or anything but I was in total awe because, ah, uh, maybe, what's that, maybe 20, 25 feet across the, the Malign River is this bear grazing and I'm just sitting there watching it and I did that for about 15, 20 minutes. I think I shot about a hundred different photos of them. Uh, I totally forgot about the sketch I was doing, was not interested in that anymore. And I just got uh, completely, um, enthralled in this bear because it was one of those moments when you and nature are connecting and nature seems to be fine with it all right the bear did not care that I was there I didn't make any approach to go any closer to the bear I didn't even move I stayed where I was sitting the whole time and I uh, took the photographs but it's that kind of inspiration you get when you're when you're out there now the bear stayed on the embankment the whole time, grazing down. He was never uh, coming down the river. And uh, for compositional reasons, I moved him into the river, coming down with this dramatic splash, and a long composition. But uh, the actual spot in the painting here was not too far from where the real incident and the real encounter with the bear happened. So it's sometimes an experience, it's what, inspires a painting and even though it's not the exact spot where it happened the two elements the main elements were inspired by that uh, that interaction with the bear because I was by that brook just upriver when I saw the bear and got to experience the bear so it was just unnatural to put those two together whereas if I hadn't had that experience with the black bear I probably would have been more inclined to put a grizzly in the river because you're going to find a grizzly more often they're they're although they're both fishermen people don't associate the black bear with fishermen they have, they associate the grizzly with a fisherman but having that experience just uh, it kind of opened up my eyes into don't always stereotype where the black bear is going to be in the thick of the woods with dramatic lighting behind or whatever it can be meandering down this river and just make a strong and an impactful uh, painting as a grizzly would so get out there that's where your experiences are even if you're a landscaper if you're a wildlife artist either one you got to get out there and you got to experience the nature that's around you and that's where the real inspirations come from